Alright guys, back with another video. As you know, dove season is just around the corner. We got all kind of bugs flying around here. Dove season is coming up. It's almost going to be here before we know it. So I know this time of year a lot of guys are out shooting clay burrs, trying to get themselves practiced up. So here's what we got. We're going to do a review on this. It's the Trias One Step. Pretty cool contraption here. It's not your average clay bird grower. Beside it here, we have, what's it called? Again? Champion High Fly. Champion High Fly. Basically, it's the same kind of uh, thrower you see. Just different companies make the same thing. I'm going to show you what the difference is. And you might be uh, pretty interested in this. As you know, a lot of times when you go shooting, you got to have somebody to come with you to operate the trap. And after you pull this thing back, a few times it starts to wear you out so I'm going to show you what it takes the effort to pull this back I'm going to stand on it here man it's not that bad I mean you could do it but if you do that like this is a box of 90 clays I don't even know if that's in frame but if you do that 90 times it's going to wear you out here's the difference with this thing one finger. That's all it takes to pull that trap back. The only difference, I think what it is, is when you go to release the bird, it has a pedal. You step on the pedal, that's what launches the bird on the trias. With this trap, it has a string. You can pull the string, or you can stake the string and step on the string, make the bird go that way. But there is a big difference in the effort to pull these traps back. Let me give you a close-up. This uh, champion, what's this guy keep asking you the name? High it's fly. Champion high fly. Let me show you what it takes here. I mean, you get right there, you can see that spring starting to stretch. But you got to put a little oomph into it, get it all the way back, and then put the catch right there. I mean, it, it works. It'll throw the birds. But let me show you the difference here. Again, one finger. It's almost as if there's no pressure on the spring. All you do is put it behind the latch. Now here's what operates this thing. When you pull the, maybe get, I don't know if you can see it. Watch this spring when I step on the pedal. See how the spring starts to stretch? That's where the trap gets its power. And it throws the bird. All right, so these are the two traps. The name of that again is the Trias One Step. <clears throat> Brandon, he basically owns, he owns both these traps. Now, what were you, what did you say there was an issue with this trap? You said there was, you had a problem with it. Uh, when it goes off, it wants to fly forward. It's, it's tough oh, to keep it in the ground. You gotta kind of ground. stand on the back of it. They recommend you mount it to a rim, a tire, for okay. better operation. But. And the other thing you said was with this, it's a lot easier to launch birds yourself. If you're yep. the only one there, yep. step on the pedal. This here, you got to come up with something. You could stake it, or if you're trying to pull it, that would make it a little bit tough if you're the only one there. This is pretty much how easy it is. Pretty easy. But anyways, both traps are good traps. They both work. They both throw birds. This one, what do you think? What'd you pay for this? I bought this off Amazon. I think it was about 108 bucks. And what about this one? Here? That one there, I also bought off Amazon. I think it was like 20, around 25. Difference in price, but you're going to enjoy this one. The a lot try better. A lot, a lot better. better. Actually, this one here just kind of sets in your driveway, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yep. get used anymore. Well, that's the quick little review. So if you guys are out there looking for a clay bird thrower, you might want to give this one a, a second look pretty good thing. All right, guys, that's it for the review. I'll see you on the next video.